you say. From what I picked up, I'm glad I came when I did. Well, I'll tell you something else. From the sound of him, I'd rather have Matt than Matt Harry Maguire. Yeah, no, hang on a minute. I've got nothing against Matt. I mean, I've known him from the year dot, haven't I? Thing is, I've always found him fair in everything. Oh, well, they are, they? Yeah, but I mean, I know him too well. It doesn't go down with him, does it? Oh, I could see that that would make it difficult. Difficult? One minute with Muckers, then he's the governor. He feels he's got to keep pushing me down while he's getting up my nostrils. It shouldn't be get too uptight about it. Yeah, there's only so much a fella can take, mate. I'm no one's punch back. No one's going to push me around. So when he comes in here next, you better turn your head the other way, because I'm going to sort him out good and proper and tell him just what's what. Oh, uh, hello, Mac. Hi, Roy. What's all this you're going to tell me what's what? Well, what I was saying. Oh, come on. There's no time like the present. Oh, by the way, Roy, I've done the sum from that. You finish it off for us. Can I go up and have a little chat in privacy over a mug of tea with me old mate here? Me old mate. Now, just make sure everything is as neat and tidy as it's possible to get. Of course yep. I will. Oh, everything all right? Oh, yes. The executive chalet has its flowers and its fluffy white towels. Yes, everything must be ready for the royal arrival. A touch of asperity. Just a touch. I know what you mean. I'm not sure I agree with making special arrangements either, but there you are. Well, I mean, when the new managing director drops in for tea. Exactly. Anyway, why should you bother? You're well out of it. No, I still have my duties to perform. Haven't we all? Problems? No, of course not. I mean, why should there be problems? Adam's happy. I just wish everything was nice and simple. Things will work themselves out. They always do. Hmm. Why should you worry? You don't have to work with this new executive lady with her shiny briefcase and her shiny mind. Well, firstly, you don't know that she's like that, and secondly, if she is, you can cope with it. Wanna bet? Oh, sorry. Not the thing to say. No, not really. Hey, you're right. Never felt better, kid. Never felt better. No, I mean between you and Mac. That's what I mean. Never felt better. Probably this, this engine's getting its oil changed on too soon. Well, that's what servicing is all about, isn't it? Well, leave it too late and the owner's going to start complaining to the garage, isn't he? Story of my life, that. So, what? What did he say? Who? You were Mac at the office. Oh, you mean Super Mac? We went in there, I cleared the air, that's what it's called. We sat down on the card table with the cards turned up. Everything's okay. So, go on, what did he say? Like I say, everything's okay. He feels a lot better now, right? Afternoon. I really need to see the manager. Anything I can do? Sure there is. My name is Mrs. Daintree. Alice Daintree. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, sorry. Not at all. I like the only hands at all, if mm. you don't mind. Yeah, of course. I'm sorry about that. My husband's open in the county for a fleet of vans. And I need a small repair job done on my little car. Well, just say the word any time. As soon as possible. So that's why I'd better have a word with the manager. Well, in the office, love. I'll show you the way. Come on. Thank you once again. This way. Right, 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 right. Oh, you must be getting washed. Probably knew you were coming. Yeah, I'll just uh, have a seat. Yeah. Weed? Oh, thank you very much. Cup of tea? I'll be very nut. Uh, on second thoughts, I've just had a cup of coffee. Right. Yeah. I'm sure I'll be all right. Thank you. Yeah, well, I'll, uh, I'll get back to work, okay? Thank you very much. It's all right, love. Any time, don't mention it. Just give us a shout. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize there was somebody here. Of course you didn't realize. How could you possibly have? <gasps> Nothing oh. to feel embarrassed about. Well. I'm Alice Daintree. Oh. You've heard of my husband? Yes. And you? Oh, I'm Joe MacDonald. I manage this place. Oh, I'm very pleased to meet you, Mr. MacDonald. Oh, how do you do? Of course I remember, Mr. Perry. How could I forget? Uh, well, um, the thing is, I'm not certain when I'll be free yet. <laughs> Thank you very much. Of course. Bye. Cecil Perry. You know, the fellow who... Oh, yes, I remember. All right, all right. You're not going to see him again, are you? Oh, I haven't made up my mind. So, how did it go ahead office? 
I have known better. Oh, dear. Not pats on the back and drinks in the boardroom? Not so as you'd notice, no. They only had me on the carpet, didn't they? But why? Oh, mainly because of promising deliveries that couldn't be fulfilled. They really went on about that, I can tell you. And on top of that, they found out that Kevin's Kath's son-in-law. Oh, I bet they didn't like that. Hey, it wouldn't have mattered to Dickie Bird if he'd have been the salesman the world had been waiting for, but because he was the salesman the world wanted to forget, well, you can imagine. <sighs> well, how did they find out? That's what I'd like to know, I tell you. I've got a feeling it was Kevin himself, you know, shooting his mouth off in all the wrong places. Little word here, little word there, you know, before you know where you are. Everyone knows from here to London. Oh, they really gave me a hard time. I've never known anything like it. So, none of those uh, chats about the future? No, the brave new chats. The plans? Fall down the swanny. Mainly the promotion, of course. Thing is, what am I going to tell Kat? Sometime during late afternoon, so I was told. Speak of the devil. Get Mr. Hunter as quick as you like. Good afternoon. I, I, I'm wondering, are you Mrs. Freeman? I am, yes, and you're... I'm the housekeeper. I look oh, Mrs. Brown, though, is yes. it? How do you do? How do you do? I hope you had a good journey. Yes, thank you. Fine. Is, uh, is somebody saying to your bags for you? Oh, yes, of course they are. What a silly question. The thing is, it's, um, it's a rather a dead period now, you know, late afternoon and waiting for the evening. Everybody's sort of getting ready for, uh, for the evening. Mrs. Brownlow, I'm only half an ogre. <laughs> Your chalet's all prepared. I'm, I'm sure you'd like to go and freshen What I would like is for you to tell someone that I'm here. Oh, I have. Thank you. But the minute I saw you, I asked somebody to know. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And you're and this David is, this Hunter. is Mr. Hunter, the managing director. And you're? I'm Nicola Freeman. Yes, of course. Thank you, Mrs. Brown. Welcome to Crossroads Motel. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Have you? Could we go somewhere to talk? My city room? Sounds ideal. Crossroads has always been a family-type operation. In the beginning, it was run by a family. And the Richardsons? Yeah, we still have one of them with us, in fact. Jill Chance? You've done your homework. I always do. I'll introduce you to Jill later. Yeah, I look forward to that. Would you continue that family tradition? Well, obviously, we'll want to continue with the same kind of friendly, courteous service. But there will have to be several changes. Some of them quite drastic, I suppose. A new broom. A new vacuum cleaner, shall we say. You might meet with a certain opposition. I'm afraid we're all rather stuck in our ways here. So be it. I shall just have to unstick them. I have quite specific ideas about the way a motel should be run, Mr. Hunter. Oh, I'm sure you have. I mean, computers, for example, are absolutely vital. Well, would you use that kind of equipment here? All in good time. Well, it all sounds very exciting, and I wish in some ways I were going to be here to see it happen. In any case, I wish you all the luck in the world. That's generous of you, Mr. Hunter. Thank you. Now, would you like to go to your chalet, and I'll pick you up later, take you to the rally bar? Oh, good idea. About 20 minutes? Oh, no. Hello, John. Hello. Oh, gosh. I'm <laughs> sorry. Uh... No, before you say anything, I can't stop, love. Not this evening. Oh, <laughs> I could do with someone to talk to and all. And when I say someone, I do mean you. No, uh, our new boss has just turned up, you know, so everybody's rushing round on their toes. Not all at once, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Have you got a second, though? All right. How did it go, then, in London? In London? Ah, well, um... Oh, come on. Huh? The truth is... It went all right. Yeah, yes, very well, actually. I mean, they took me in and sat me down and gave me a chat, and everyone was... Pleased? Pleased, yeah, yeah, that's the word, pleased. It, Said they were very pleased with my first six month sales figures. Oh, so there was congratulations all round. More or less. Words to that effect. Oh, that's good. That's very good, isn't it? And promotion? Did they, did they say anything about promotion? Uh, not in so many words as such. Not in the words of those sort of syllables, you oh, know. No. Not, nothing definite. That's it, nothing definite. I just have to wait until I hear. Oh, well, that's good, though, isn't it? That's very good. I'm delighted. Anyway, I must go, love. Can't tell you how pleased I am. Bye.
Right, you can get on with that then. No problems. <clears throat> um, Mr. Smithers, CM. Fine, honestly. But why don't you think there's anything first than me giving you that to do while I get on with a new job? Yeah, no, 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 I didn't do that for a minute. Good. It's just that Mr. Daintree happens to be a very important customer. It looks good if he sees me dealing with his wife's car personally. One of those things you get to understand. Yeah. Customer relationship. That's what you get when you reach the high pinnacles of leadership. See? So I can leave that in your hand? Of course you can. Great. Ready, sunshine? Oh, no, Sydney. I've got to stay back a while. What the hell for? Well, I promised Mrs. Daintree I'd get cracking on her car. I was just explaining it all to Roy. Oh, yeah. Well, I said she can have it first thing in the morning. I've got to stick to my word. See you all later. See you. It's nice, isn't it? What's that? Well, we were going to have a night out on the booze and the dartboard. But it's gone to his head, this. It's terrible. When customers come before mates. Oh, I'll tell you what, Sid. I've got the uh, itch now after last night. Well, if you fancy a thrashing. I'm your man. For money? For money. Go on. Hi, Jill. May I introduce Nicola Freeman? Oh, how do you Jill do? Jill Chance. Hello. Now, can I get you a drink? A Perrier with ice for me, please. Jill. No, I, I'm all right. Well, Mrs. Freeman, we've all been looking forward to your arrival. I'm delighted to be here. Are you comfortable? I'm in your chalet. Oh, yes, it's fine for the time being. Oh, yes, you'll move to a house nearby, I suppose. Oh, I don't think so, no. I like to be close to things. There we are. Oh, thank you. No, if you'll excuse me, I have things to do. I won't be long. Well, Mrs. Chance, to a long and happy association. Yes, to a, to a long association. You say you like to be close to things, but not too close. I mean, that can be depressing. Well, not really. Depends how interesting you find your job. I'm fascinated by mine. <laughs> well, I shouldn't have thought that um, someone like you would find a small family motel like Crossroads fascinating. Well, that I see Crossroads remaining as a small family motel. So you're going to change everything? Mm. <laughs> no, not everything. But now that Crossroads is a part of major international hotels, it'll have to conform to the standards of our other outlets, obviously. Well, I think you'd be making a terrible mistake, you know, making it part of some great faceless conglomerate. Well, I mean, our whole reputation, our attraction has been the fact that we are a small, caring motel. Mrs. Chance. I shall, of course, always be most interested to hear what you think. But in the end, the decisions must be mine. Even if they're the wrong ones. I don't believe that just because I'm managing director, it automatically means that I'm going to be right on every occasion. But I do believe that only one person can make decisions. And as that person's going to be me, I shall have to take the rap if they're the wrong ones. Yes, I see. So, when do these changes take place. Well, <laughs> no time like the present. I thought I might as well start immediately. I like the place the way it is. Yes, well, that's understandable, but we rather change places, you and I, haven't we? Yes. Yes, I suppose we have. If you could make a note of it, the key to Chalet 17 needs to be re -cut. It's the only one we haven't to spare. Yes, there were four, Liz. Well, I don't think he's on duty until 6.30. Why? I want to introduce him to Mrs. Freeman. Oh, now we're back into the Every time you oh, mention her name, she comes in through the door. Ah, uh, Mrs. Freeman, I'm oh. now at your disposal. Anything I can do for you? I don't think so, no, thank you. Um, tell me, who designed this reception area? Well, after the fire, we had to rebuild as soon as possible. Under the circumstances, I think we did a rather good job. Under the circumstances, I'm sure you did. But I think we might consider changing it now, don't you? Mm. Why? What's wrong? Well, there's a lot of wasted space, and the uh, colour scheme leaves something to be desired, don't you feel? It doesn't conform to major international hotel standard, I presume. It doesn't conform to my standards, Mrs. Chance. Not to worry. I know an interior designer who's got impeccable taste. We could do a lot worse than rely on him. Well, you've just started your shift, have you? Oh, I don't know about Mrs. Freeman. She's only just arrived, but my goodness, she's all over the place. <laughs> have you seen her? She's ever so glamorous. Well, what is the matter, Hen? I can't go on, Auntie Kath. What, what do you mean? 
giving him me notice. You what? This is part of a flat. I just can't forget Pete. Oh, you see, I knew this was going to happen. I told the Maguires I didn't want you involved, not at your age. I had a letter from Mrs. Maguire this morning. She started off by thanking me all over again for what I'm supposed to have done for her. I didn't do anything, Auntie Kath. There was nothing anyone could do. No, just try. Stop thinking about him, eh? I can't, honestly. I've tried. He was my best mate. So that's what making it so hard to bear. I can't go on sharing the flat with Di if she comes back now. I don't want to stay there on my own. Well, what are you going to do? Where, what, where are you going to go? I hadn't given it much thought. You could come back to me, you know, Iris, couldn't you, now that Kevin and Glenda have gone? No. Why ever not? Because I need to get away. Right away, Auntie Kath. I want to stop thinking about everything that's happened. Stop thinking about the pee. No, I do understand, love. But there's nothing anyone can do about it. Time will have to be the healer, and it is, love. Believe me. I thought I might go home for a bit. You're never going back to Rose. Why not? It'll be different there now. Well, she's got shot of a fancy man. It was him I couldn't stand in the first place. Well, I don't know that I approve of that. It is my real home, Auntie Kath. I've been happy here at times, but the whole place is getting me down. Anyway, it doesn't matter now, does it? One way or another. You come in. Can I get you a tea? Coffee? You know, what I'd really like to do is take a stroll around the grounds. Would you like me to show you around? <laughs> Thank you, but no. I need to get my own personal perspective on the place. Yes, I know what you mean. So if you'll excuse me. Of course. If you're sure. Don't worry, Mrs. Chance. The changes won't be as drastic as you fear. But we can't live in isolation. woman where oh, did she learn the on. business she's not that bad oh i suppose all you men will say that well certainly rather attractive well i knew she was going to be bad but she's worse than i thought possible i mean she's going to change everything she's going to wreck everything i mean put everyone back so i'm so sorry um, i forgot to mention i'm having my own desk sent up from london now it should be here tomorrow morning so if you could make arrangements to have this one taken out i'd be most grateful thank you Coming up next here on UK Gold, we spend some quality time in Ramsey Street with the neighbours. <laughs> 